Tonight, instead of a concert vlog, I'm here to do a concert review. Halo North American Tour 2022. Amorphous is on this side of the Atlantic, and tonight they were in Toronto at the Velvet Underground. Originally, the show was supposed to be at the Opera House, but due to low ticket sales, something that's happening across Canada, across North America, a lot of bands touring at the exact same time, which is driving demand down. Uh, you're fighting for a very similar audience, and post pandemic, this is one of the issues that bands are facing. But having Amorphous play at the Velvet, first time ever, is really something different. It added a different experience to the overall evening because it's a venue that, while being smaller, it allows you to be closer to the band. There are no security, there are no barriers. You're almost on top of the stage. And that, from an experience perspective, it's a lot better, it's a lot different. It improves the overall atmosphere, it improves the overall evening. Now, before I talk about the bands that performed tonight, I have to mention that Sylvan, while being part of this tour, she wasn't part of this evening. She's joining the tour at the next stop. She was performing at the Inferno Festival in Norway, and due to that, she had to miss the first couple of shows of this tour. So this tour is actually going to get better going forward because you're adding a quality act to the overall bill. Now, the evening started with Hoaxed, an all-female banded trio, I had never heard of this band before. I didn't know anything about them. I didn't know who they were, where they're from, what sound, how many albums they've released. I had absolutely zero clue what I was going to get myself into. But the moment they hit the stage, they hit the stage with the purpose. They had a drive and they have an incredible sound. First shout out that I have to give is to the drummer. She was phenomenal. I have a huge crutch on Hoax's drummer from now on. I mean, I was just mesmerized by her performance. She had so much charisma behind the drum kit. She put on a show within the show, but the whole band was so tight. Uh, great sound, a little bit of this dark rock goth feel to it. Uh, some, some elements of doom mixed into it, fitting perfectly into the overall bill, into the overall night in terms of what the other bands have to offer. But a very interesting, unique sound that works really well. Great vocals, uh, like I said, a band that plays really tight, that has a very unique soundscape, that has a very unique way of performing. They feed off of one another. That's totally obvious from watching them perform tonight. And I walked away a huge fan of Hoax. Like I said, I had never heard of them before. I'm glad that I was there from the beginning and I got to check them out. I, I advise anybody who's planning on going to any show from this tour, don't miss this band. Don't sleep on Hoax. These girls are phenomenal phenomenal keep your eyes out for the bass player she has a lot of energy she was having a great time the vocalist guitar player great front woman she has a great presence great vocals great guitar playing she really keeps you engaging she keeps your your attention focused on her but to me the star of the show is definitely the drummer like i said i have a massive crush on her i just love the way she played the drums i love her energy i love her enthusiasm this is a band to keep your eyes out for in the future don't miss this band if you're attending this tour you're going to absolutely love these ladies Next came Wada. It was my second time seeing Wada, and it's the second time that I see them at this specific venue. I must say, this was a better performance than the last time that I saw them. The lights were better, the sound was better, the overall performance obviously improved because of those two elements added to the atmosphere and added to the experience. When they brought out the smoke machine, I don't know if I'm the only guy that feels this way or the only person in the venue that feels this way, but I felt like the smoke smelt or even tasted a little bit like bacon. So I don't know if they put some bacon bits into it. Whatever it is that they did to it, I absolutely love the smoke machine. It adds to that atmosphere. It adds to their performance. It adds to their sound. This is what Wada is all about. And they put on a great set list, a great night, a great show. Very energetic. They had very good movement on stage. They were not as static as they were the first time that I saw them at this venue. I felt like there was a little bit more uh, of a effort to interact with the audience, to create a little bit more of energy on stage and not be so stoic, just staying in one position, playing your instrument, uh, singing, doing what you're doing, and just feeling like you don't have a place to go. Tonight's performance had a lot more energy, had a lot more movement, it felt more dynamic, it felt more fluid, 
all of those things, all of these little things added to a much better evening, added to a much better show. This is a band that shows growth from when I saw them two, three years ago at that same stage to the band that I saw today. Same band, but with a different style, with a different performance, with a different purpose in terms of how everything came together. So I absolutely love tonight's performance by WADA. The sound was phenomenal. The vocals were incorporated into that sound in order to give you that that punch that really that really knocks you down and that's part of the experience of watching this band perform live they're an incredible band you you don't really lose much in terms of the atmosphere in terms of the impact in terms of what they are when you go from listening to one of their studio records and then watching them live watching them live is just a continuation is just an extension of who they are sonically and tonight they definitely put that kind of performance forward and really uh, allow the fans to embrace them. I, I think that there was so many fans there that were really looking forward to what they were going to bring and nobody left disappointed. Wada put on a phenomenal show tonight at the Velvet Underground. Then we got the headliners Amorphous. I'm going to post on the description of this video, the set list, in case you guys are interested in finding out a, a, exactly what kind of songs you're going to get uh, on this tour. I like the fact that they changed the set list quite a bit from the last time they played in North America. I saw them twice uh, on the Queen of Time tour. So obviously on that tour they were playing a lot more songs from that album because that's the album there that they were supporting. Now they're supporting Halo so you're obviously going to get a lot more from Halo. But I like the fact that they spread out the set list a little bit better this time around. It felt more dynamic, it felt more engaging, it felt almost uh, a little bit of uh, biography, if you will. It had a lot more to offer uh, from Amorphous on this set list while still incorporating a lot of material, obviously, from Halo, the album that they just released. So the evening was interesting because first time playing at this venue, a much smaller stage than what they're used to. So obviously they can't be as dynamic as they normally are. The previous two times that I saw them in Toronto, they were playing at the Opera House. They can move around a lot better. It's a much bigger stage. You have, uh, you, you can spread your wings, let's put it that way. This time around, they had to be a little bit more static. They had to stay more within their pocket, but they had to find other ways to create energy, to create movement. And I thought they did that in, in a very creative kind of way, which they made the interaction with the audience a lot more frequent. There was a lot more times for the band, specifically Tommy, to talk to the audience, to interact with the audience, put the mic in front of the audience, have the audience sing along, because there is no barrier. The band and the fans are really next to one another. So not having the room to move, not having the ability to create fluidity on stage, allow them to create a different kind of fluidity, a different kind of dynamic, making a little bit more of a synergetic concert experience where the fans are becoming a lot more part of the concert and not just there to enjoy it. And that changed the dynamic of the show, that really changed my perspective of what the night was all about. As far as the set list goes, I already said it, I like the fact that it feels very... Uh, biographical it feels like it sp spreads out nicely uh, and it includes a lot of the new material and it had a nice flow to it that to me is really important as well it was a set list that never had dead moments it kept moving it kept going it had a sense of continuity uh, it, it, they came back with an encore with two songs one of them the B so I, I feel like they created a set list that feels really well that has a sense of uh, of beginning, middle, and end, and that's important for the overall uh, show, for the overall showmanship, uh, and tonight I really feel like they put all the right pieces in the right place, working once again with a venue, with a stage that they're not comfortable perhaps, or not familiar with, but still making a great night out of it. As far as the sound is concerned, this is a band that continues to prove to me that every time I go see them, they never have a bad night. They never have a bad show. The quality of the sound, the quality of the vocals, the light system, everything was outstanding. They're one of those bands that if they were to take me on the road as a roadie, I would pay them for me to do that job so that I could see them perform every single night. They're one of the few bands that if I had an opportunity to see them every night for the whole tour watching the same set, I would. 
because I really feel like you can never get enough of a band that's as tight, as solid, that plays live the way they do, the way Amorphous does. They're one of a kind. I really feel that strongly about them. The more that I see them live, the more that I listen to them, the more of a fan I'm becoming. I absolutely love Amorphous. Tonight was just the icing on the cake, showing me that they can play at a smaller venue and still put on a performance of a much bigger venue. Working with what they got, knowing that they have to still uh, deliver the goods and, and also showcasing all the experience that they've had over the years, knowing exactly what to do in order to put forward uh, the best performance possible. I just love what they did. I love the sound. I love how clear, how crisp, how clean everything was. At times it almost felt like you were listening to the CD. It was just absolutely phenomenal. Tommy was phenomenal. What a great front man. I mean, he doesn't just have a great voice. He's not just a great vocalist. He's a great front man. He knows exactly when to pause, when to interact, when to, to give a sense of continuity, when to give fluidity, when to push himself back, let the guitar players push themselves into the front if there's a solo, uh, when to be a little bit more dynamic, when to be a little bit more engaging. He's just one of those guys that absolutely controls the stage and the audience in front of him. It was a great evening. It was a great show. These were three solid bands, two that obviously I was familiar with, had seen them live. Hoax was the surprise of the night because for a band, I really feel like they're a young band coming up. They have a massive amount of talent and I advise everybody to not miss them on this tour. First of all, don't miss this tour. This tour is packed. When you think of Hoax, Sylvan, Wada, Amorphous, this is a packed evening of great music. Don't miss the tour, first of all. Second of all, don't miss the opening band because I believe you're gonna be surprised and you're gonna walk away a fan just like I did. All right, so now let me know your thoughts on this tour. Are you guys going to see them? Where are you going to see them? Hit me up in the comment section. I'll be reading those and getting back to you. Take care, guys.